Hey, thank you very much, Mike Carlucci. Welcome, everybody. Here we go once again. Your fearless leader, Wally George, here every night at 1230. Uh, I do a commentary, and then we show you some highlights from the past 19 years of my hot seat show as we soar forward into our 20th year right here at KDOC-TV, Channel 56, our home base. I can't believe that we've been here going on 20 years. Wowee, folks. Uh, but I'll tell you, this is the one show you should be watching. And, you know, I was, uh, I w I was wondering uh, about the, this guy that people have been talking about, this guy Bill O'Reilly. Now, he's on KABC radio, and I've listened to him on, o over there. And, uh, and, and then he's on, on, uh, he's on Fox TV doing the O'Reilly Factor. And uh, I'm getting a little bit annoyed with Bill O'Reilly, uh, who is supposed to be, who is known as this uh, uh, Republican conservative. And uh, here, I, I heard him the other day taking pot shots at the, at the President of the United States. And I, I would think he would be supporting him. But he's taking shots at him and his cabinet. Now, come on, O'Reilly. We have enough liberal Democrats trying to shoot down the president without Republican conservatives like you claim to be. It's just, it just bothers me how even people like O'Reilly uh, who, who, and Rush Limbaugh, who claim to be so conservative, so pro-Republican, how they get their facts wrong often and how they they find it might be the proper political thing to do to take a shot at our president verbally of course i'm saying verbally please don't get me wrong to uh criticize the commander in chief I mean, I mean, he gets this from the other, from the Democratic Party every single day, and from the media, w which is so left-wing oriented. He doesn't need to get it from people like Bill O'Reilly and Rush Limbaugh and all the other conservatives. I say, and I am a Christian conservative Republican. I say that President George W. Bush is doing a magnificent job, and I say the great majority of this country agrees with me. But the, the media especially are trying to brainwash the people into saying that George W. Bush is responsible for all the problems we may be having. Now, we have been having trouble with the economy, sure. Some businesses are going belly up, getting rid of a, a whole bunch of their, their workers, their staff. Is that George W. Bush's fault? And then, of course, uh, when the stock market took a tumble, they blamed George W. Bush for that. And then what did George W. say? He, uh, when, they, when, the, when, the, when the media asked him about that, he, he said, hey, very calmly, not perturbed, said very calmly and very presidentially, hey, this happens. We're going to come back. The market's going to bounce back. We're, we're, not, we're not heading for any depression. And what happened? Two days later, it bounced back. The stock market boomed, just like the president said. And also, it bothers me 
maybe we'll, we'll have to... Uh, do I have much time left here? Okay. It also bothers me that the Democrats are saying George W. Bush better not plan on taking on Saddam Hussein militarily until he gets the approval of the Congress. My answer is... George W. Bush is not only the President of the United States, he's the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. And I say, if the Commander-in-Chief has very, very good information that Saddam Hussein is getting ready to launch a nuclear or biological attack against us or any of our allies, especially Britain, but especially us. If he has information on his desk, he has the, the, this biological warfare, he has nuclear warheads, he's preparing to attack the United States of America, if he has that information, do the liberals want us to wait until he drops the bomb and, and kills off 400,000 Americans? Or does he want to stop him before he has the chance to attack? As the, President Bush said many months ago, we cannot wait anymore to react because our enemies have, have these weapons that can wipe out entire cities, kill hundreds of thousands of Americans. And so George W. Bush has, has the armed forces ready. They, uh, they have airplanes over there, and uh, they're in Jordan, and they're in Kuwait, and they're getting ready for when the president says, okay, we got to go in. And I say, to heck with the Congress. It's the president of the United States who has to make that decision because the Democrats will just make a political decision. And that decision could bring about the end of the United States of America. So leave the man alone. Let him do his job and let him save America. Okay, we gotta take a little break here. Um, Jeff Bingham, my fine director, editor in the booth, uh, has picked out some amazing moments from the past 19 years of my Hot Seat show. We have Hot Seat highlights coming up next. You don't wanna miss it, so stay right there. Thank you very much. <laughs>